Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am so glad that you're here. Welcome back. Today, I am gonna do a BoxyCharm unboxing. I was on my Instagram and asked my uh, friends on Instagram what they would think about having a peek at my BoxyCharm and uh, I overwhelmingly heard that that's what you want. So that is what I'm gonna do. Now I've seen lots of different styles of doing BoxyCharm unboxings. Kathleen Lights does hers. I've seen Manny MUA do his and then Sarah from Better Off Red. I love how she does it where she tries out all of the stuff beforehand and then talks about it. The difficult thing is that this is the April box and I didn't get it until today, which is April 17th. So I do have the base box and the premium box. I pay for these with my own money and I have had BoxyCharm for about a year now. Um, I haven't had the premium. I started getting those about six months ago, but I have been uh, with BoxyCharm as a customer for over a year for the base box. So let's open it up and see what we get. And then we'll create a look or we're just gonna kind of see where the wind takes us. All right, so the April theme is sweet treats. They always have a cute theme for the month. And this one has two, three, ooh, five items. Now, this is the first time that I have ever seen lashes in a BoxyCharm box. That's so exciting. And these are beautiful. Look at those. These are the Monarch Lash from Flirtatious Looks. Those are so pretty. So it looks like the top lash is the baby girl style. The bottom lash is the charmer. And then it comes with a lash applicator. And it actually looks like a really nice applicator as well. So they've got the curve to them. So that's neat. Set of lashes is $38. It says that they are cruelty free. They are made up from 100% silk. And can you make it from silk and have it be cruelty free? Cause don't you get silk from a silkworm? I don't know, but it's cruelty free, they say. So there we go. Okay, now the next thing I saw that is also very exciting is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. I think this is the second or third box that I've seen that has Natasha Denona items in it, this is the first time that I've received it. So this is the special edition created exclusively for BoxyCharm, and this is $48. So right there, this has paid for the box twice, which is neat. Okay, next we have the Tear de Mars, and this is a body cleanser. So that is nice. And that one is $22. Next, we have a tinted moisturizer from Studio Makeup. Tis the season for tinted moisturizers. So that's very exciting. Okay. And it says it has some hyaluronic acid in here. And, oh, we've got the two with a pump on it, kind of like the Fenty stuff. Ooh, that's pretty thick. So that's a good color. I've just blended it all out, but you get a lot from one pump of that. So that is, that's awesome. I've not heard of Studio Makeup. So I love, that's one of the things that I really like about Boxy. This is not sponsored. This is not uh, gifted, nothing like that. But one of the things, like my honest opinion of BoxyCharm is that I like that I get stuff from brands that I don't usually hear about. I've not heard of Terre de Mars. I've not heard of Flirtatious Looks. And I've not heard of Studio Makeup. So I just like that I get exposed to a bunch of different brands and different types of makeup that I wouldn't have used or heard of before. So that's awesome. The Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer is $35. It says it is a light 
to medium coverage with hyaluronic acid. Very cool. And then the last item in the base box is from Eloise, and it is a Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. And this is in the champagne rich color. And that just looks so pretty. And that is $38. So all together, it's about $140 worth of stuff for 25 bucks. So I would say that that is well worth it. I am very satisfied with this, especially excited about the Natasha Denona and these lashes. I always love a new kind of lash. So we'll give those a try. Now on to the premium box. So the premium box is $35. Oh, and we have stuff right on top. So the first thing, it's just right on top. It's like not even in the packaging there. This is the incredible crystal ball roller gloss duo. So this is two crystal ball lip glosses with real crystals to stimulate lip circulation and wake up the chakras. That's exciting. You guys, you might not know this about me, but I um super super into crystals i love crystals and the energy that they bring it has rose quartz for good energy and healing amethyst for cool calm vibes so that is really cool and just goes right along with my oh it has a crystal as the roller ball dude that is dope Oh my gosh, I love it already. Let's put some on. Let's put some amethyst up in here. And that is a nice gloss too. Ooh, I love that. That's such my vibe. Okay, so those lip products from Incredible Cosmetics retail for $24. Okay, the next item I'm seeing here is from Dose of Colors. Oh, I love, love Dose of Colors. This is a long wearing creamy eyeliner and it looks like it's a green. Ooh, it is like a forest green. <gasps> That's so pretty. Look at that sleek, gorgeous packaging. Ooh, I love that. And that retails for $15. So those two items right there are the cost of the box and I still have four more products. Okay, next. Something from NARS, that's exciting. Okay, we have a NARS blush. Let's check this out and see what color we've got here. That is bubble gum pink. Look at that. Oh, that really creates like a very pretty rose. That is such a fun color. Oh my goodness. So this is the desire color from NARS and this retails for $30. So that is a very exciting. This is a good box so far. All right, next, we've got something big. Okay, so this is from Iconic London. And this is their Sunrise to Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. And that is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at those colors on there. Ooh, this moonlit shade right here. Look at that gorgeous golden glow from that. Beached bronze looks lovely. Ooh, that is nice. It's got a nice big mirror inside. And that from Iconic London is $62 for that palette. Okay, and now we have two more items. We have from R Plus Co. Is that how you say that? Yeah, our plus CO, we have the Balloon Dry Volume Spray as well. Oh, that smells nice too. So that's nice, a little texturizing spray. I have very, very thick, thick hair, so I don't really need a lot of help in the texture department, but I definitely am always looking for a good hairspray. So that's awesome. I love that, and that retails 
Oh, I just got a more another whiff of it. That smells so good. That refill retails for $32. And then our last item in the BoxyCharm box is this item. Nope. Is this item from 111 Skin. This is the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. This is a thick old situation. So it says you're supposed to cleanse the skin, remove the film and apply the middle sheet onto your face and leave it on for 20 minutes. And then it has an essence in it that you absorb into your skin. Okay, it comes with multiple. I was wondering why the box was so thick. So it looks like it comes with five of the rose gold brightening masks. I do love a mask, so. I am gonna be uploading my skincare routine, my evening skincare routine, and um, I talk about masks a lot in there. If it's posted, I will put the link for that up here. If I haven't posted it yet, it's coming soon. But I do love a mask. I also really, really like the 111 Skin Company. I got something from them in a boxy charm two months ago, and I've been using it, and I dig it. Like I am very, very into it. So I'm excited to use that. So just to recap, we got the, oh, wait a second. Uh, so the price on these is $135 hairs um, for five masks. So I'm gonna need to look 16 by the time I'm done using all of those masks. Holy groly. Okay, so to recap this box, we got the Iconic London Palette, the 111 Skin Masks. We got the NARS Blush, the Incredible Lip Ball Rollers. I got the Dry Volume Spray and the Dose of Colors Eyeliner. Okay, now the question is, what am I gonna create? So I've got the face. I'm gonna use this one for the highlight. I'm gonna use the NARS for the blush. Obviously, I'm going to use these lashes. Now, do I use the Natasha Denona or the Iconic London? I think I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London for now, just so I can create something a little bit more colorful. Then I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Eyeliner, and we're gonna just do oil on the lips, and anything else that didn't come in the box, I will throw on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zip through all of this, get this makeup applied, and then I'll let you know my thoughts at the very end. Here we go. <music>
All right, everybody, and that is my BoxyCharm unboxing of my basic and premium box. I did not have any complaints about any of the items that I used today. I think it turned out really, really well. I did decide to get crazy and put this Eloise illuminator underneath the foundation. I did put a teeny bit more over the cheeks, but I feel like it gave a really beautiful glow to the skin. I love the iconic London palette that I used. I felt like it just created a really beautiful, fun summer color. And it just, I, I mean, if you look at that, it looks like there are lots of options. We can go somewhere really fun and bright and vibrant or somewhere really chill. And I love that they have the rows that work really beautifully together. So the color story of the palette is easy to read and it's easy to understand. I also feel like, I don't know, I just I decided to jump into the inner corner with this bright yellow just because I wanted something that was a little bit more in line with the items that I'd already used. And I love how it turned out. These lashes are lovely. They were very easy to apply. They feel very comfortable. Sometimes I don't get along with lashes that have a black lash band. I prefer them to have a more thin lash band, but I don't mind these at all. And I love that they flare and give that nice drama on the end of the lash. And they're beautiful. They feel really lovely. So I love this flirtatious looks duo and I will be trying the other lashes as well. This NARS blush just added the most lovely amount of pink. I just look like I've been outside, kissed by the sun. Love that. The Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer, I feel like gave a very light coverage, but it does look nice. It kind of evened out the skin tone and it feels really beautiful on the skin. My skin does, I did powder the whole face because it did feel a little bit tacky to the touch and I do not feel like I need any kind of setting spray because I am dewy right now, but I really enjoyed that. And then the lip gloss lasted throughout the entire makeup application. Let's go in with a little bit of the white quartz one. Mm. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed everything that I got in my box today. Uh, more than $200, uh, more than $300 really worth of products. And I'm so excited to try it. Do you guys have BoxyCharm? Do you get BoxyCharm? Let me know. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And there are variations every month to the box. To, so I'd love to hear if you got anything different than what I got this month. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget that if you liked it, click the like, subscribe and ring that bell. It helps me so much. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy that you're here and I will see you guys next time. Love you, mean it, bye.